you're going to be creating a function that's going to use a Google Doc as a template, populate the information into the template, and that's going to be coming from the spreadsheet data, and then also using the spreadsheet data to send emails to the email addresses within the spreadsheet, generating the docs as PDFs and sending those out to the users. So we run the code, it executes, selects the temporary folder, and it's adding the files into the temporary folder, but then it's also removing and deleting them. So it's moving them into the trash. So generating the docs, and as we can see, this file is sent into the trash. So we're not gonna store anything within the folder, but when we go to the inbox, we see that we've got all of these files are now generated. And when we open it up, we've got a custom message and we select the PDF, and we've got also the customized PDF that was generated within the app script that was sent out to the user. This lesson, we're gonna be looping through the sheet data and then updating and outputting that content, sending it as a doc over to an email address. So let's create the function, and I'll call it sender1. So this is the function that's going to select the sheet data. So we did have the sheet contents and we'll use the ID for the sheet and selecting the spreadsheet in order to get the contents of it. So that's the sheet object and using the spreadsheet app service, we can get, we can open by ID and then we've got the ID value that we can use. I'll also set up a variable that's going to contain the ID so that we can select it and reference it. So selecting it, opening it by ID within the logger log. I usually do try to just make sure that I do get the sheet object before I try to do any additional code. So make sure that we don't run any errors or any issues with it. Uh, so once we've selected it, then we can get sheet by name. And then this is going to be selecting the sheet. Uh, the name of the sheet that we're using is going to be data. So we're just selecting out that sheet. And then once again, we can run the function. And we see now we've selected the sheet object. So we want to select the contents of the sheet. And just as we did before, we can get all of the data range. So we need to select the range. And using the get data range method, that will return back the full range of content from the sheet. And I'm actually going to set this in a separate object because this way we can still select the sheet object and update content into the sheet. So as we're getting the data from the sheet object, we're getting the data range. And then let's uh, get the values and output the values into the log just to make sure that we are selecting the values properly. So that's all of the sheet information. And notice that we are picking up the first row, which has the headers. So we want to remove that and we'll do that with a slice one. So that will slice the content and remove out just the first row. So that gives us all of the data content that we have within the spreadsheet. So what we want to do is we want to loop through the data sheet and using for each and this is actually just going to be the row of content returned back with an array format. So we'll loop through each one and select out the contents and then we'll update the content from the template. Let's uh, select our template object. So using the document app, open by ID, and this is where we need the document ID. So create a variable to hold that. So that's the doc ID. And select that so that we have a template that we can use in order to select ID. So that's our template. And because we've got the headings of the sheets where we've got first, last ID, we can also use that information 
as we're selecting the content and we can loop through that content. And that's gonna be contained within the first row of data. So let's actually slice that and then we'll get the rows as a separate value. And that will use the data slice where we'll loop through and we're gonna loop through each row item. And this way we can use the contents from data zero and we can loop through. Before they do that, then let's make a quick update so that we can make a copy of the template file. And we can't copy it using the document app, but we can select it and make a copy of it by using the drive app service. And then this is where we're gonna get the file by ID. So get file by ID, and then we're gonna open it by its ID value. We also want to select a destination folder. So this is the folder where we're gonna copy the file into. So I've created a temporary folder. Select the ID of the temporary folder. And then using the drive app, get folder by ID. And this will allow us to select the folder directly and allow us to automatically copy the new file into it. So once we've got the temporary file, we can make a copy of that file. So we've got the file that we wanted to use and then we've got the folder where we want to add it into. So temp, and we want to make copy of the file and add it into that main folder. And we want to return that back as an object. So this can be whatever the file object is. And then once we've got the copy of it, in order to get the document, we could use the document app service and open by ID. And this is where we need to get the ID of the file. So file and get the ID value of the file to return back that string value. So that will return it back as a usable doc. And then now in order to get the body, we just get the body of the document. And that allows us to interact with the contents of the body. Within the logger log, for now, let's log out the body just to make sure that the code is working, that we don't have any bugs in the code. And we'll do a quick run through of the code. So what it should be doing is it should be selecting the files and making copies of the files or of the template file. And it's got three copies of the template. So that's ready to make updates to that template file and populate the information from the spreadsheet. So as we're looping through, we can update some of the properties of that spreadsheet. So let's loop through, and now that we've got the heading information that's gonna be contained within data one, so within the first row using the index value of data, and this is also gonna be a loop, so we can loop through each one of these headings. And within the document body, we can do a replace of the content using that value for the heading. So we'll do a body object and then replace text. And of course, your string values for the headings have to match with what we've got within the template. Otherwise, this won't work. You can also hard code it for each individual line. So I'm gonna use the template literals and the characters that we're gonna be looking for are gonna be the heading value. And once it finds the heading value, we're gonna be replacing it with whatever we've got for the current row and using the index value. So it's looping through and it's gonna use the index value here and do a replace of the body contents. And we'll also take the file and set the name of the file. And this will match with what we've got for the row, for the first item in the row. And actually let's just match it to the first and the second. So run the code. And now going into temp, can remove out those previous files that we had there. And it's creating those files with the new populated information as it's generating those. 
So generating the new docs. And so what we can do is we can take the doc, convert it into a PDF, and then send it as an email. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. We'll, we'll get the blob of the document. So that's using the doc. And if you get it as, and we're going to select the type to be a PDF, a meme type PDF, and PDF. So it's returning the doc back as a blob. And now let's construct the email contents. Where we want to get the email address of the, where we want to send the, date, the data to. So it's going to be contained within the row values within the fourth item within the row array so it's going to be row with an index value of three this is the email where we want to send it to the subject for the email and then the body can have a custom message if we want so i'm going to use the template literals so the back ticks and i'll use the values that are within the spreadsheet and just say check out the attachment and then now let's uh, use the mail app service and send email and we'll send the email object so sending it as an html email we're specifying who we're sending the email to so that can just be the email address uh, parameter is subject so we've already got a value for subject And it's just using these variables here. And then for the HTML body object, this is where the body contents can go. And then as for attachments, we're going to attach the blob content and get as a meme type PDF. So that's going to send and convert it into a blob and send the email. And then for the doc, and then for the file, let's set the trashed to a boolean of true. So that will remove the file that we've just copied from the temporary folder. And it looks like I used body again. So this is going to be the H body. And remove out that from the logger and save it and let's run the code see what happens we need to accept permissions because we're getting new permissions for the app so select the account that you want to use to run the code and there's the new permissions that we're adding send email as you and that's the mail app service so that allows us to send emails and let's see what we've got within temp so these are the previous files and now let's check our email so there's the emails that we've just created and sent out. So that's uh, the first email. So welcome, and there's a spelling mistake there, so we need to correct that. And it looks like it sent the emails, but it never updated the PDFs. So let's take a closer look and see what happened here, and then also update this spelling mistake. And the reason that it wasn't updating the PDF is that we need to close the writing to the document. So once we've finished writing to the doc, do a save and close function. And that way we can save, close it before we run and send the email. Let's clear these files out and we'll run it again. And then go to the inbox and clear those files as well. So that's our new file. And now we've got the updated version of the file as a PDF being sent out, out as an email to the users from the spreadsheet. And we're not keeping anything within the temp. So those files, as they're being created, then we're also sending them into the trash, setting the trash as true. 
So unless you want to keep them, you can also keep the doc versions of the files or you can create PDF versions in the folder as we've seen in the earlier lessons. So go ahead and try it out and create your own version of the application that's going to send emails using the template, populating the information from the spreadsheet into the template doc and then emailing them out as PDFs to the users.